All right, welcome to the High Ticket Clients Masterclass. This is perfect if you're a funnel builder, if you wanna get into online business and become a funnel builder, build funnels for clients and get paid, not just low ticket, but actual high ticket, 3,000, 5,000, 7,000, up to 10,000 per funnel. Or in my case, I've also been able to generate tens of thousands per month from one client on a retainer. So if that's you, something you're interested in, uh, this masterclass is perfect for you. I call this the high ticket clients masterclass because it's the only way to get high ticket clients as a funnel builder. So let's get uh, right into it. First things first, I've learned this. It's not from theory, it's from actual experience because I personally had hundreds of clients who have paid me thousands of dollars per funnel to build them for them. I've also had clients paying me 20,000, 30, 50, 60,000 plus in LTV, a lifetime value. And so if you're tired of having like one-off projects and you actually wanna have long-term clients and this is perfect for you as well. And then I've been able to charge tens of thousands, like I said, per month uh, for a long period of time as well. The only times we've canceled those is because I've wanted to cancel it on my end. And so I'll share with you how I've been able to do that as well. And then, yeah, you know, I've been able to white label my services where other people um, are hiring them. They outsource it to me, especially in the early ages, early stages when I was able to get clients and not have to talk to clients at the same time. So I've been able to charge, you know, thousands per, for a white label service of funnel building as well. And then start as a nobody from nowhere. So I'm from Finland and nobody really knew who I was when I started. So if that's something you're interested in, then uh, this client matrix that I'm gonna share with you will be perfect for you. And then uh, I also close clients in DMs. 99% of my deals in DMs, no client sales calls, no proposals, just texting, right? Messenger, that sort of thing. So here's what we're gonna cover in today's masterclass. How to get high ticket a client as a funnel builder and consultant, how to establish where you're at in the pricing ladder, and then how to build true client relationships in a trust recession, and then how to stand out from a sea of desperate freelancers, uh, the client matrix determines how ready you are to charge big right now and how to fix it, and then how to transition from low ticket to charging premium fees uh, if you're just getting started. And I know some people think, well, that's easy for you to do, Gustav. Like, you can charge high ticket because you have a lot of big clients, you have a, a personal brand, you have subscribers on YouTube, I don't have any of that. And if you're brand new, I'll show you how to fix that. Because anyone can do this, there's two phases to it. You have to be in the right phase at the right time before you transition into um, the phase two, which is more inbound clients, uh, people coming to you. So. Let me know if this sounds like you. If I can correctly understand where you're at right now. You're just starting out and you don't have any clients yet, but you wanna get into funnel building and have an online business and work from anywhere, right? So it's, it's frustrating because you're not sure how to uh, get more clients because you don't have any to use as reference or case studies and it's hard to pitch someone you don't feel confident. It's a mess, right? And you're struggling to pick a niche because you're not sure if you're too broad, too niche down, should I go in this sub niche and, and work with like fitness coaches or should I go work with everybody and just sell high converting funnels, right? And then you're questioning if this business model is even for you because you're not seeing any results yet. Or you feel like you sound like everyone else saying, you know, high converting funnels, automated course funnels, uh, personal brand funnels, so on and so forth. Um, I'll teach you how to fix that as well. And then you're seeing other people crush it with easier business model, maybe publishing, maybe growth partners, um, maybe AI automation, and you think this is even uh, working. And I can tell you from insider experience, uh, sorry, uh, information and insights into tons of funnel builders who are still crushing it, me you know, included in that, still selling funnels to this day, a decade later, uh, people are making thousands per funnel and it's not that much work compared to other um, online businesses. And the profit margins are great as well because you keep everything. And then you don't feel confident in your deliver, you know, ability to deliver for clients. A lot of people have that when they're starting out. They're not sure, even if you close a client, like how can you, how can you deliver for them? And um, we're gonna fix that today's as well, uh, today as well. So I call it the client matrix and this is where the good stuff actually begins, the training. And these are the four pillars that every funnel builder, uh, funnel builder needs to close high ticket clients. Uh, and you need at least three or four to uh, be successful. And so if you look at these four pillars, 
they are big clients, eyeballs, free offer, and data. So let's go through each of them. If, um, you know, if you only have big clients, this is, by the way, what I call the tipping point. So once you get above this, uh, shout out to Ed Lawrence here on, on YouTube who had something similar for YouTubers, where it's like, you, you know, you need to get up above this line and then everything else becomes easier because you have maybe credibility, maybe you're really good at communicating or you have high production, for example. And for us as funnel builders and consultants, when working with clients, it's easier if we already have big clients. You know, we're above that tipping point where everything becomes easier. If we have eyeballs, we have a personal brand, then everything becomes easier. If we have a free offer, then it's easy to get that foot through the door and start working with them to prove your worth. And then if we have data like conversion rates, then it becomes much, you know, much easier. And then it's, um, it's you know, above the, the tipping uh, point where people come to you and you get referrals, you get inbound leads. It's, it's easy. But what if you're not above the tipping point? How do you then get clients? That's what we're going to fix today. So scenario one is big clients. If you have big clients, but you don't have eyeballs, you don't have a free offer, you don't have data, conversion rates, and case studies, then the challenge that you're going to face is you have big client names and lots of credibility, but nobody knows who you are. So you're not getting leads. You're not getting prospects interested. And you don't have a personal brand. You don't have an audience. Uh, you have, again, big client names, but no case studies with real data. And I did this mistake in the beginning where I didn't collect any data, any conversion rate numbers. And then you're charging your worth and you refuse to do any free work or any um, sort of audit up front because you already have big names and you think that's enough, but that's not enough to go above the tipping point. And then scenario two is if you have eyeballs, let's say you focus on content, you're posting every day, you're trying to grow your audience, maybe you launch a free, you know, free funnel template download, and maybe a free community because you've heard um, you should do that, or maybe you've seen other people do it, and it's still not working because you only have eyeballs. You don't have clients, you don't have a free offer, you don't have data, and you're struggling. We're gonna fix that as well. Uh, challenges you face here is you're getting a lot of eyeballs, but nobody interested. You're spamming content, but nobody believes your expertise because you don't really have that experience. And then you have a lot of theories, but no real client projects and evidence that this is working. And then, you know, you know stuff on paper, but you can't speak from experience and people will see through that. So scenario three is if you have a free offer, but you don't have eyeballs or clients or data, you know, it's a good start. A free offer, come, you know, goes a long way. But um, nobody knows you, so even if you have a free offer, you come off kind of desperate, even if you message people, right, if you do it the wrong way. And then if you're only posting content, you'll have to wait for people to find you. And your offer is great and free, but people are still risking their time, meaning if they say yes to working with you for free, they're still investing time and energy, energy into a project. And so, you know, it's not enough for you to get above the tipping point where things become easy. And then free offers alone aren't worth anything if they're not based in, uh, in expertise. It's kind of like if someone gave me free food, but it's poison or it's bad food. You know, it's uh, expired. Uh, it, you know, someone designs a thumbnail or edits a video for me for free, but it's, you know, it's free, but it's bad. It's not performing. It's not really that helpful, right, for a successful entrepreneur that you're looking to work with. And so um, last scenario is if you have data, it's a good you know, start, you have some conversion rates, case studies, maybe campaigns, you know, funnels launched and revenue generated for someone. It's a good place to be because you can start posting content, use that in your portfolio to land more clients. Uh, but really what you want is you want all of these in order to get above the tipping point. So challenge to your face, um, you're starting to build out case studies, but you know, it's not consistent. You're not getting referrals and you don't have a system to turn new leads into uh, clients and, and turn that data into clients. And then you're not really growing any personal brand and uh, so you're not getting that consistent lead flow. And the solution with each of these is that you wanna focus on these three. So don't focus on content yet. Don't try to build a personal brand when you don't have any experience. So first focus on getting a couple of big clients for free to get data, conversion rates, and case study. And when you do that, you can start posting about that and you get those eyeballs, right? Then you get above the tipping point. And so I know this sounds simple and some of you are gonna be like, is that, is that it? It can be that simple, right? But it is free offer to big clients so that you get data from them, 
you start posting about that and now you build from a place of experience. You build a portfolio, a personal brand, your content, and now you go to stage two where you start getting people come to you, right? So phase one is know your clients and know their goals. If they're a YouTuber and want to have a digital product, then don't sell them a homepage with a, you know, a book a call because maybe they don't, they don't want more calls and not everyone wants more appointments. Not everyone wants an appointment setter. Some people just want to have a, a creator business with digital products, right? So know their goals and then figure out where they're hanging out so you can message them. If it's on YouTube, then find their email. Uh, if it's on Instagram, then DM them, reply to their story. If it's on Facebook, click their profile, look at their you know, uh, link in bio uh, and see what business they have and offer something for free. And then test different freebie offers. So try to see if they want a free redesign, free copy, free you know, split test, um, a free uh, email, did I already say that? A, uh, a free project of sort to get started, maybe a, a free strategy to launch a new digital product. And then uh, offer to do one quick project for free in exchange for testimonial. Now, you don't have to do this forever. Just do it until you have that data. You have a client name that you can use in your portfolio and so that you can start posting content from what you're doing, not what you've learned, right? From watching a, a course or a YouTube video. And then ask what they need next and then charge a discounted fee to do that as well. So first design, then build it out and launch it. It's just gonna be $500 instead of 1500. And then sell them more funnels. If they have a low ticket, sell a uh, backend high ticket. If they have all of that, sell them a, a homepage. Until very soon, you'll have an inbound client machine where you have paid projects, uh, you know, you're pretty good at understanding your clients. You have an updated portfolio with tons of examples that sells for you. And you post consistently from a place of authority based on experience. And you're teaching what others are doing wrong and how to fix it because you've seen what works now. Let's say you have 10 YouTubers that all have digital products. You know the page structure that's working. You know the pricing. If you're doing AC funnels, like low ticket automatic clients funnels, which is like low $27 products or $7 or $19 or $10, $5 products with upsells. Now you know what's working because you're only doing those, right? And then you're building a personal brand with authority based on your projects. And then you're documenting your lessons, finding from real projects, your clients are happy and send your referrals. And remember, the only way to get clients is to know their business model and what makes funnels, and valu uh, funnels valuable to them. Sorry, I'm, go I'm going fast because I have a meeting with High Level here in a minute. Literally 60 seconds. Uh, prepare for what they ask in order to know you're the right one. So they're going to ask to see examples. So prepare that, right? They're going to ask maybe funnel type, different pages, what's included. And find them so you don't have to wait for them. And update your portfolio so you can show a specific example. Maybe it's course funnels, homepage funnel, low ticket funnels. Uh, collect data from projects early so you can give them case studies and actually care, serve, and give before asking anything in return. And when you do that, you get above the tipping point. And now you have big clients, you have a lot of eyeballs, you have a free offer that now you can scrap the free because you have so many leads coming to you. Um, but you've now done all of these four, you get above the tipping point and it becomes easier. You build a personal brand, you can charge premium fees, you stand out from other people, especially when you're be you know beginner you're willing to do the first one for free. That way when you reach out, you're not being uh, pushy and people love you because you're just there to connect and see how you can help them.